Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be ranking Premier League home kits for this season. As we know, we've seen many terrible kits before, haven't we? How many have you seen? Okay, here we go. So, let's first start off with AFC Bournemouth. It's a really standard cherries kit. I like how they've gone back to having really classic cherries. It's really, really nice. The sponsor doesn't really bother me. I've got Bournemouth in a respectable seventh place. I put Bournemouth at eighteenth because I don't like striped shirts. You hear that from Coaster Mum? Right. Next one's Arsenal. This is a brilliant kit. It's absolutely amazing. Arsenal have done it again. The Adidas, Adidas have done it again, I mean. But Arsenal's shirt is beautiful. I love how they advertised. It's just lovely. The stripes, the red and the white and everything. I've got Arsenal in second. I've got Arsenal in fifth because I like classic red shirts. We're pretty close there. Right, next is Aston Villa. This is a classic Villa kit. It's really like simple and basic what I like. I like simple and basic kits. The sponsor is huge. I don't like that. The W stands out and that's not right. And then all the kappa stuff on the sides and on the front is not the best. Villa's in ninth. I think the W stands for worse. It's 20 for me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Brighton next. Last year, Brighton's blue stripes were really bright. And not this year. They've changed it up. And I don't think this is the best change. And I don't think this is the best change they've done. The American Express cuts out the blue stripes as well. And there's the yellow tick for the Nike. I've got Brighton in 11th place, almost mid-table. Mm, Brighton's number 13 for me. It's another slight striped shirt. I know. <laughs> right, talking about Burnley. Burnley's kit is not very good this year, I have to say. They've got the Chinese writing, the Chinese sponsor that they've done, and everything. I don't think it's really, really good at all. Chinese on the left, the right, the front. I don't like it. I've got Burnley in 19th. What about Coaster Mum then? I put Burnley in four. How I don't like the kit. Okay, change it up a bit now. Goes to show you that I really don't like the villa because the two kits are quite similar, but... Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. So the next one we're going to talk about is... Oh, I've got, I've got the wrong kits up, hang on. I've got the wrong kits up again. It does happen, it's technical fault, hang on. Right, we've got Chelsea now. After Burnley, it's Chelsea, as we know. Chelsea's kit, if you zoom right in, you will be able to see the little design in it. And I love it. I love it. That's why I've got Chelsea in fifth. What about Coaster Mum? Chelsea, I've got in sixth. Whoa! Plain blue shirt. Just how I like them. Well, it's not plain, it's got designs in the middle. Yeah, yeah, not got too far. It's not got on it, has it? I know. Yeah, right, yeah. Crystal Palace. I think they've gone a bit too far with this kit. There's Puma on the left, the right, and the front. Then you've got the McDonald's Mambet sponsor. It looks like McDonald's in there. And then there's even, they've gone so far that there's white in the blue. It's not right. It doesn't look like a Crystal Palace shirt that is not normal. I've got Crystal Palace in 15th. It's another striped shirt, so it's another, another low number for me. 17. Oh, right. Everton. I love the Angry Birds sponsor on the side. I am a red, as you know, but I love the Angry Birds sponsor on the side. The pattern just ends. The sponsor doesn't... I don't mind the sponsor, but the pattern ends, so that's why I've got a mid-table in 12th. Oh, I've got Everton at 7th. Okay. Classic. Blue, blue shirt. shirt, yeah. <laughs> Leicester. If you zoom in close again, you've got your little checkered squares, and the gold is for power, like the king power in Leicester. And that's what I love about Leicester's kit. 
fourth place. Mm. Ninth for me. Blue shirt, nice, simple. Right, Liverpool. As we know, we are both big reds. But Liverpool's kit is beautiful. I love the stripes, the little white stripes. And the sponsors, I'm, I'm fine with the sponsors. Yet again, the pattern does not end. They could have put the pattern a bit more on the side. But I don't think it, it would have gone too far o- over the top for it. Mm-hmm. So I've got Liverpool in third. Once a red, always a red. Number one. <laughs> Right, let's talk about a kit where we have totally different opinions on this. Manchester City. Yeah. Blue does not go with purple. Do you understand that, Manchester City? It doesn't really look very good, the purple with the blue. And being the richest club in the world, give your fans a decent strip. What about... Uh, oh, I've got it in 16th. I've got it what in about second. You? All right. Hmm. Okay. Play Talk about shirt. Manchester United, the other side of the city. Manchester United. What do you think about this kit? It's uh, red. Yeah, like, it's, you know what I'm going to say? Plain, yeah. classic yeah. shirt. Eighth for me. Okay. I like how Adidas have got the stripes, the same colour as the shirt. You don't really notice them. If you take out the sponsor, the Adidas, and the Man United bit, the kit would be perfect. The Manchester United logo is stuck on a black thing that's been stamped onto the kit. And that's why I don't rate it. 14th place. Right, let's talk about Newcastle United, and I want Coaster Mom to go first. Okay, I like Newcastle United. This is the only striped shirt I like, so I'll put it at 14th. Still a low number, because I don't like striped shirts, but it's <laughs> one of the better mm. ones. Newcastle United's shirt is beautiful. I like how they've got the badge in the middle like it's really really classic the puma bit doesn't really bother me it's on the left and right but that doesn't matter the only thing that bothers me is the giant blue writing of fun 88 it's no good newcastle is in 13 right norwich norwich's kit norwich's last year last year's kit for norwich was amazing it looked beautiful but what have they done this year Right, as it comes down from the yellow bit, there are little green, like, tiny little polka dots. I don't like that. (laughs) Of course, you know that I don't like little green polka dots on a shirt. That's why I've not rated it this year. Norwich, what have you done? I'd go as close to say that your designer should be sacked. 17th. 10th for me. Don't like yellow shirts. Sorry. Coaster mom at the top. Right, Sheffield United. This kit is beautiful. It's a striped shirt. <laughs> but the only thing that really bothers me is the giant sponsor. And it has two Union Jacks, which I don't like. Why don't you just stick with the one? And yeah, everything awesome else is though. small, I know. It's really Everything else is small. The striped kit is beautiful, though. I've got Sheffield United in eighth. Uh, Very respectable. 16th for me. As we know, Coaster Mom does not like striped shirts. Well, it's not going to go very well for Southampton easy then, is it? Right. Because I don't like striped shirts. 16th for me. Okay, Southampton. United, 15th no, for me, right. Southampton. Here we go, Southampton. Your designer should be sacked and should never design a shirt again. What have you done? Really There's black hard. on there, then they got your red sides... Your V-neck, it's not a V-neck. And then you've got Under Armour. And then you've got this LD Sports, which we've never heard of. Then the stripes are huge and there's a little pattern which doesn't follow. What have you done? Your kit last year was lovely. Southampton, rock bottom, 20th. Ooh, harsh. (laughs) Right, Tottenham. Nice, plain, lovely shirt. Yeah, I don't mind the red sponsor. Tottenham's it's just beautiful. It, I love it. The V-neck, the blue V-neck is lovely. First place. Ah, third for me. Classic, plain shirt. Watford. 
I feel that the Watford players would be really proud and would wear this shirt with pride. It's yellow. I like how the sponsor's two different colours. That's really nice, really it's neat. still yellow. <laughs> and then you've got the red Adidas stuff going down the side. It's amazing. It's yellow. I've got it in six. It's 11. <laughs> right, West Ham. We're coming to the end. Coming to the end. Right, West Ham. It's claret and blue. Right, the standard West Ham kit. But what have they done with the top? It's blue, and then there are darker blue stripes. West Ham don't normally do that. And the umbra, you can't even see it. West Ham, although I do really like your kits most of the time, I've got you in 18th this year. Yeah, West Ham's in 19th for me. It looks oh. a little bit like Aston Villa's kit, and I don't like Aston Villa's kit. Right, okay. Let's finish with Wolves. Wolves' kit is lovely. It's a nice orange colour. Looks yellow on there. It is orange, actually. But instead of the Adidas stripes being on this side, they've got it down the sides of the shirt here. You can't really see them. And it's that McDonald's sponsor again, Mamba X. It's nothing there. The logo's nothing special. But it's really nice. I've got it in the middle of the table. Really respectable 10th place. Oh, I'll give it 12th place. I like Wolves. Okay, and that wraps it up. This time, we have not. What's your opinion on this? I really hope you've enjoyed this video today. Leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel of course. And we will be back doing the Awake It sometime soon. Bye.